Hi guys, just coming to you with an update. Sorry it's been forever since I posted a video, but my birthday was this week, and then the day after that I bought a huge, 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 huge jewelry collection. I mean like thousands of pieces. So I've been working on that all week, and I want to give you a little tour of what I have. And that way you know what I'm going through here. So this box is all stuff that I have posted on my Poshmark already. I think she said it was like 2,000 pieces of jewelry, and I bought the whole collection for $160. So I literally got this stuff for pennies on the dollar. So I was so excited. But it's been crazy. So like this has all been listed on Poshmark so far. And I think I'm just going to go with Poshmark for a while, guys. This has all been listed on Poshmark. Just tons of stuff. Like, this whole pencil case is full. And I'm trying to bag them up. I need to bag up some of the stuff on the bottom. But she had really good stuff. Like, the sterling silver and the gold that I found in this collection alone made up for the cost. I already made my money back. I sold the gold to my girlfriend, of course, who loves gold. And I sold a beautiful Navajo bracelet for $50 on Poshmark. And I also have another one listed that literally has sold for $700 on eBay. This is earrings, which I finally got all the matches to. That took me two hours yesterday, but this is only part of the earrings. The rest of the earrings are in all these boxes. This is the box full of sterling that I found. But then this box is literally hundreds and hundreds of pairs of earrings. I sorted them, kind of, <laughs> but I still have to bag them up in pairs and figure out how I'm going to list them. So there's probably a good couple hundred pairs of earrings in this alone. So with that box of earrings, there's probably two, three hundred pairs of earrings that I got. And amazingly, there was only half of a sandwich bag full of earrings that didn't have matches to them. So not bad. This is the only little bag of earrings that did not have matches. So I was very, very happy about that. Found some loose stones as well. I'm going to test those later. Um, and then this is like the sterling silver that I found. I got a bunch of sterling silver earrings. I got this cute little cowboy hat. I think it used to be a pendant or something because there's something right there. But I don't know, it's cute. Got cool stainless steel earrings. There was a lot of sopata silver in there. This is the Anson, vintage Anson sterling piece. This is the cuff bracelet that goes for anywhere from five to nine hundred dollars on eBay. I couldn't find this exact one, but ones just like it or pretty darn close to it have gone for that much. So I'm have it listed for I think four ninety nine on Poshmark. I got the little kids on a sterling chain. I got Haliyashi art glass earrings. I got a couple sterling silver bangles. This one's uh, Mexico. This one's just like a flexible bangle. Oh, I got this sterling silver. I thought it was Pandora, but it's um, IBB. It's an Italian designer. Sterling designer. So that's pretty cool. These are all sterling charms, sterling bracelet, everything. Those go for a couple hundred bucks on eBay. I got a sterling silver bangle, cubic zirconia. I got another little cuff bracelet. I got a really pretty sterling silver pearl wine necklace. I got this really cute Navajo sterling silver pin. I got a sterling silver lapis beaded necklace. 
just so much stuff. This really pretty sterling silver turquoise. It's kind of reversible. One side has this feather and the other side has just the stone. I got a really pretty aquamarine tennis bracelet. Sterling silver. Like the sterling silver alone that I got in this collection makes up for the $160 that I paid for it. So I was super happy with that. Um, I'm trying to keep like this is the side that's listed and all these I still have to list. So that was super awesome. Um, and then let's see. This is just like, <laughs> as you can see, it's a jumbled mess of stuff that I'm still working on listing. I got a couple, I got a lot of nice watches in this collection too. Um, this is a really pretty like coil bracelet. I have a lot of Leah Sophia and stuff in this collection. This is a really pretty like art glass pendant. I might try to find a leather cord or something to list that on. But like this whole box right here is brooches and pins. I mean some of them are just dumb. But this one is a Trafari brooch. And these go for like $25 on eBay. Just a lot of different, I don't know why that's in there, that's a locket. Just a lot of different brooches. Some are so, some are so, so, some are really good. A lot of, a lot of uh, maker's marks on these, so I have to go through these. I have, just have a lot of stuff. So then I got like a bag of bangles there. So I've been working on listing all this stuff. And then this jumbled mess <laughs> is either beaded jewelry, jewelry that is kind of worn that I don't feel comfortable listing on Etsy and Poshmark, or just jewelry that I'm undecided if I'm going to list. I might do crafters lots with these, I'm not exactly sure, but this, oh my god, that's probably a good like five pounds right there. Just full of jewelry. I mean, as you can tell, this bin is pretty deep. Just a lot of stuff. So, I've been working on that. But, um, if you guys want any of this stuff, <laughs> just let me know. I have put together crafters lots and jewelry bags and jewelry jars before. I'm actually selling a jewelry jar on Etsy, no, on Poshmark right now, that has like 210 pairs of earrings in it, and a lot of them, like 69 pairs are vintage clip earrings. So, I just don't want to deal with the earrings lately, um, still trying to decide what I'm going to do with that huge box full of earrings, and this box full of earrings. So, yeah, definitely worth it though, as far as the price of the collection, just a lot of work sorting and listing. I spent two hours the first night on it, four hours the night before last sorting, and then another two hours today sorting. And I'm not even halfway through it. I mean, I am not even done with the silver. I've only gotten these two little boxes done. So, I've been busy. Um, but yeah, I will bring you a ring collection video I will upload that one shortly after I upload this one. I just wanted to give you guys an update on all the craziness going on. But a very, very, very fun collection. Um, I was going to tape some of me unbagging and unboxing this, but there was just so much and it was so tangled and so unorganized. I didn't do it, but if you want to see... Maybe the brooches, or if you want to see what I have in that box, or if you want to see the earrings, just let me know, and I will gladly post that for you. So, um, yeah, it's been a crazy week, but I will bring you a ring collection video soon, because I did get a couple rings that I'm really excited about. I'll give you a hint. This one is a beauty I found. So, yeah. I will be back on later 
tonight, guys, with the ring collection video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good night. Bye.